In this second example on drawing shear force diagram, we're going to extend slightly on what we did with the previous simply supported beam subject to one force. But now we have a scenario where we have a simply supported beam, pin support on the left at point A, and a roller support at point B on the right hand side. But we now have three point loads, all of value F upon three, and they're L upon four in distance along the X axis. So think of this as the X axis. As the previous example, we need to evaluate the reactions. So to calculate the reactions, we need to draw the free body diagram of the full system. So let's do that. So we have the free body diagram of the full system. Uh, let's put the loads on there. So we have the F upon free, F upon free, F upon three and we have R A Y R B Y. We're only considering the Y direction. So from this free body diagram the system is completely symmetric so we know R A Y is equal to R B Y and all the loads are pointing down and only the loads the reactions are pointing upwards. So we have R A Y plus R B Y equals and adding these three F upon threes together equals F and we know that the they're both going to be of the same magnitude so we can say that R A Y equals R B Y which equals F upon two and they're both pointing in the upwards direction. Okay, so now that we have the reaction forces, we can proceed to calculate the shear force diagram. In the previous video, we showed what we need to do is make cuts, and we make cuts everywhere in, in positions where the shear force doesn't change dramatically, or where the shear force changes dramatically. So we need to make a cut between A and L upon 4. We We'd need to make a cut between L upon 4 and L upon 2, so somewhere in here. We need to make a cut between L upon 2 and 3, L upon 4, so we'll make a cut somewhere around here. And also, finally, in this last portion of beam, make a cut between 3, L upon 4, and L. So we would have to make four cuts, or we could recognize that we have some symmetry in the system and make two cuts, but in general, we'd need to do four cuts. We can, so that is the formal procedure. So you do method of sections, you cut the beam wherever there is a change in the loading. The shear force will remain constant if no further loading is applied. And the second part of the procedure is we draw a free body diagram of each portion and evaluate vertical equilibrium. We write a function for the shear force which is valid for the interval along the beam that is being considered. So we could imagine we could draw the free body diagram for cut number three and so we would have free body diagram for cut number three we have the reaction force here and before we get to cut number three we have two of the f upon threes f upon three and then up on the left down on the right we would have a shear force at this section okay well, in this video we're not going to do that i'm going to show a more informal procedure which is really useful for just doing shear force diagrams so what we're going to do is draw a vertical line proportional to the magnitude of the applied loading and in the direction of the loading whenever a load including reactions is encountered and i'm just going to show that so we draw the a line for the x-axis along the beam and wherever the reactions occur we're going to draw a line vertically proportional to the loading so and do this in different color pen let's go back to this picture of the diagram at a we have a force of f upon 2 applied so before I even draw this what I'm going to do is draw one we have an F upon 3, 
and f upon 3, and f upon 3. And finally, the reaction downwards at B. So this, so at A, now we have a force of F upon two. What we can do is walk along the beam. So we'll just draw a line, horizontal line, until we reach the point L upon two. And at the point that we reach L upon two, we draw a line proportional to the loading applied. And this is now that loading was F upon three. F upon three pointing downwards. And again, the shear force won't change until we reach the next point that the load is applied. And the next point that the load is applied is at L upon two. And again, at L upon two, we have a load F upon three. And from this point, we move along the beam again until we reach the next point that a load is applied and now we get to distance 3L upon 4 along the beam and now we apply another force of F upon 3 at this point. The shear force will remain constant again until we get to the reaction force at B and that reaction force at B is F upon 2 and then we can shade in the diagram and if you've done this correctly you should get to zero force at the end zero shear force at the end of the beam so this was a sketch diagram of the shear force Again, what we should do is add to this shear force diagram, you would like to add the axes and V and the units that you're using for the problem. In this case, I'm going to go with Newtons. And also, as we've said, and I keep reiterating, is you should indicate the sign convention that you're assuming for the problem. Now, as I just sketched this diagram, it's not convincing that this was indeed proportional to to f upon 2 and this right hand side proportion of f upon 2 and each of these down slopes in particular this middle one was proportional to f upon 3 so I'm going to show you drawing I prepared earlier that's in the lecture notes which is each of these lines are drawn proportional to the loading and are actually measured properly and this is what the shear force diagram would look like and again add to it That you want to put your what your axis is and your sign convention so up on the left down on the right being positive